So here we have a true or false question, and it states the ST segment elevation is present in the following lead, okay? And we're looking here at lead AVF, okay? And specifically, we have to know what ST elevation is, okay? So elevation of it, and you have to know what the ST segment is. So let's review our uh, cardiac complex quickly, okay? And then we'll get to this. So here you have a P wave. Here's a QRS complex and a T wave. So this is the P wave. This is our QRS complex, and this would be an R wave and an S wave, okay, and our T wave. Now we have a number of segments as well as intervals. So one segment is from here, the P wave, all the way up until the beginning of the uh, QRS complex. We call that the PR segment, okay? There's an interval that includes the P wave and the PR segment, and we call this the PR interval, okay? And then we have the QT interval and QRS interval. So the QRS interval is simply from the beginning of our QRS complex to the end, all right? And then we also have the QT, which is the end of our, or the start of our QRS complex all the way to the end of our T wave. We call this the QT interval, okay? So you may have heard of QT uh, prolongation, and we're looking at that often. It'll be the QTC where we correct for heart rate. Now, we haven't mentioned the ST segment, and the ST segment is the one that sits. It starts at the J point, which is here, the end of our QRS complex, okay, and goes until the beginning of our T wave. So this is the ST segment, and that's what our question was looking at, all right? And it's asking, is it elevated or not? So when we look for elevation, we use the baseline, which is this PR segment, okay? Oftentimes in the past, we use the TP segment. More recently, we're starting to use this PR segment as baseline, and this is that J point, okay? And we're looking for elevation or depression from that J point, okay? So one way we can do that here is kind of find those J points, all right? So here is our J point there, okay, and our other J point, and this is our ST segment from here up until this point. And we're asking, is it elevated, okay? Elevated meaning above the baseline. So if we draw our baselines here, okay, using this as our baseline, okay, and this line here, you can see that. Uh, maybe we'll draw this one again. So here we go. Okay, if anything, right, we're, if it's elevated, that would mean it would be above this, and we'd call that ST elevation. If it was below it, we call it ST depression, all right? So if anything, in this case, we certainly don't have ST elevation. The segment is, if anything, below the baseline, okay? You can see our J point below it. So we do not have ST elevation, and in that case, this is a false statement, okay? So no ST elevation is present here. Um, if anything, we may have some ST segment depression uh, here, okay? So be able to note where that J point is at the end of our QRS complex, the start of our ST segment, and using that PR segment as the baseline to see if there's any elevation or depression of the ST segment. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.